some people just don't they they, they don't work out the the, the most Come optimal on, build for a hero and i i kind of feel like death prophet is in that current position right now so <clears throat> you're voting for death prophets to not buy the same build that they've been doing before that's it that's what i'm hearing you you want change you're promoting revolution in itemization of death prophet am i correct um you want the shivas even though it's 2000 gold on the recipe uh what well, yeah, i don't i don't know i don't know about now if they do it all, all i'm saying is <laughs> everyone tip me <laughs> all i'm saying is like before the shiva's nerf i think uh it was good yeah yeah i think it was very good and i was very surprised that people weren't actually picking it now i don't like now, now I'm not quite sure, and like, because like you said, I mean, Shivas did get nerfed pretty heavily. We're not seeing it as much, but it's just I'm trying to think. I, I'm trying to think why uh, that's the case. Because the hero in general, whenever she has a good build, she's picked because the hero just does a lot and is very easy to play around her. I'm trying to think if there is a metas are interesting, man. Like the hero can be really strong and not get picked in the meta until. Uh, the last couple of days when everyone figures out and then everyone starts picking a certain hero. In this situation, if she's a good uh, lane against Puck, there must be a reason why she wasn't picked yet. Probably the numbers don't add up or some carries that are played are strong against her or something like that. Yeah, but I, I mean... Yeah. Sorry, girl. No, 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 you what you want oh, to wasn't anything. me good sir oh, okay. yeah, go, nothing important go. yeah okay okay it never is with you mate but it's all right no stress exactly uh, uh, next to you it's never important i just want to hear <laughs> your voice yeah <laughs> i don't know if they were they were messy with me or not but i was playing a siege game in but uh on our break from southeast asia and and, and north america and uh it's, it's some people in my get in the game said i had a lovely voice and it made me happy you do. Jesus. You have a. Have you ever heard of the YouTube channel Grade A Under A? <laughs> There's no way you're doing this again. There's no way, <laughs> dude. You you're literally this no, that dude. You, when you start like when you get There's excited. There's no way a bit. you're doing this in two casts today. You're bringing this guy up. What's going on? How like? I, I'm promoting his channel. He paid me off, but he sounds the same like you. I don't sound the same. I watched one video for not even a minute. And he just doesn't sound like me. <laughs> He's the same. I love it. He's not the same. He's probably Australian yeah. as well. He's an Aussie probably. And you guys all sound the same. Just like we Slavs all sound Russian to everyone. No matter what. You don't sound Russian? Ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't? Okay. No, Let's no. cast. Red <laughs> okay. going mid. He has very nice death <laughs> prophet. <laughs> very uh maybe now is uh yeah, might be uh, i don't know so we'll i am very intrigued about this mid matchup this is again like i thought is is very very death profit favored um so we'll see i think the big thing is the fact that really just it's so frustrating for puck to use to get away from the siphon uh early on it's okay like level one level two but really once the levels come out from the death profit and again, it's very similar to how the DK matchup works with Puck, where Puck kind of is a bit more of a rotation heavy mid laner. And with DK and Death Prophet, you can punish that because if they leave the lane, you just ult in take tower. Yep, yep. It is a long cooldown on that ulti on, the, on DP. And I kind of feel she has to commit a bit more. Um, and she needs the creeps. Dragonite kind of doesn't. He just goes in, hits the tower, runs back, and. The dot itself uh, does the job for him. Meanwhile, that prophet kind of has to tank it, which puts her in a awkward position, in which one rotation and she's dead. But in general, yeah, I completely agree, and Puck should suffer in this lane. At least it's not as bad as that Templar, us oh, the DK, sorry, DK from last game. Yeah, that was. Yeah. That's that's definitely not an enjoyable one. Are you a wireless or wide mouse person? I feel like all everyone's changing to wireless. Really? 
People are changing I, 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 to wireless. Yeah, dude. Interesting. How many people have mouse issues in in Dota? I feel like every game we post for a mouse issue. Dude, it's quote ma- mouse issues unquote. You know, it's like headset what, what issue. What could it be? Yeah. What legitimately? What is it? What mom comes in? Mom, I'm in probably a game. probably mom came in and she's like, "What are you doing, son? Are you winning?" <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's probably that, but he's too shy to say. Maybe grandma. <laughs> grandma. G try. All right, we're back. Don't worry. Mum was uh, just had to ask what he wanted for dinner after the series. It was exactly. confirmed if it was. You know, she, he thought it was gonna be two zero for them, but then Yuma had to tell her like, nah, sorry, mum, we we lost game one. Thought we were gonna stomp him, but not the case. Now we gotta. Nice lady just wanted to know uh, whether to start cooking or not. You know, but what the time is. Some nice yeah. cabbage rolls, probably. What? Yes. There's no way. There's, you could have said anything else and you said cabbage rolls. Like, I feel like there's so many nicer options. <laughs> cabbage you. rolls stuffed with meat. That's that's like a mom dish. Oh, that sounds alright then. Alright. I thought you just meant like, just cabbage rolls without... Nah. You no, know, just cabbage <laughs> rolls. Just... there was like meat in there Well, son, you have to start winning if you want to, some meat in it. <laughs> just cabbage this time around. What's like, happening inflation. bottom? What's going on? What is this lane, actually? Why is there a double banner? Why, like, <laughs> there, is this some pub stuff or? I mean, I know there was a lot of like all chat tip action going on, but like, <laughs> what is? Low skill, about to stun himself a bit. Yeah, yeah, it does look like a pub down bottom. We should have given him a high five then. They're trying to control this alchemist a bit better than in the last game, because last game he wasn't uh, feeling the pressure at all. This time around, you have these stuns, you have the bonk, the spear. It's a lot of damage that they can dish out to him. And uh, I feel like one thing that they lacked in the last previous game was some easy burst. You know, they had these lassos, they had these dragon knight stuns, but to kill anyone they had to use uh, too much. Top lane, Yuma. Yuma? Who wins is the moment? Yuma still got the stun. The, oh, dude, the blood grenade missed. They both split as soon as Fly used it. Happens, happens, I'm gonna say. As a fellow boomer, I'm missing blood grenades as well. Just you, brother. It's, uh, Fly never misses. You just... uh. He literally you, you just were... missed. I didn't. Just what do you missed. mean? Like, I'm done Don't shoot about fly? Oh, you know he's bigger than you. He'll, He'll be careful. He, Next is event. He? That's true, actually. Is he? Is he? Maybe. He'll never know. Have you Have you guys compared biceps yet? Of course. What do you mean? That's That's the only thing we do every time. Um, to be honest, fly every event I'm on, fly is always at the gym. Whenever I go there, he's there. So. He's very consistent, like, has a good work ethic. Damn son. Nice fear. Gonna fly. Perfect angle to well. be able to lock into the tree. All right, never mind. Let's look at top. Probably got to kill there. Fly. Gonna get dived into the tower. Wow, Lizard, thank you very much for that. We didn't miss a kill because oh. of you. No problem, guys. I've got you. You're real homie, you know that? Ah, uh, copy? Copy? You don't win this. Copy. Hmm. 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 So, hmm. The tips. Is, uh, <laughs> oh my god, there are a lot of tips. <laughs> there are a lot of tips. Hmm. Yeah, dying alone on mid lane usually isn't good, but um, we have seen Pucks recover from way worse. At least he has some CS. He's got like 19 uh, last hits, 5 denies. It's not the end of oh, the world. They're gonna world. kill him again, actually. They are try gonna try to. He has orb though, right? Shouldn't he be... They could dive, maybe, but... They have Exo as well. I mean, it's 6 rune coming up. Oh, no. Oh. Pushed him away. That's awkward. Look at the that ward as well. 
Top, bottom, top it is. Illusion, really? maybe we'll... They wanna go, they wanna exo. Oh, I think Batrider tried to drag the wave, which he might be able to actually. Matter as long as they keep the catapult away, if that is the most important thing. They will be able to do so. so they're gonna have to try and spam the creeps from afar and, and drag them away. Maybe they can use Yamson's banishment as well to have some illusions to help tank. Yep. You see, this this is what I meant a bit earlier. This is a bigger issue, like because you can't really tank it as a DP, but. Exo is running out, so he should be uh, safe now to heal up. Get that tower. They might go for fly if they get the tower. Where's oh, nice the deny. Deny. Is he gonna die for it though? No, he's not. Okay. Uh, but, dude, how does a CM get the deny? <laughs> uh, it was Puck that got it actually. But both of them oh, attacked. Okay. Yeah, both of them attacked, so it looked like CM got it. It's Puck. Dyer's top tower is under yeah, this, um, Mid lane is not going great for Puck. Bot lane, Alchemist got pressured a bit more than last game. He's running around a lot, but overall he's still uh, almost on top of the network. Charts farming well. Up here. Mid lane. Orbs on cooldown. We'll be back up now once the banishment expires. They're, they're so annoying, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> if I was this puck, I'd I'd be tipping someone right now. Yuma in the river, thinking about cutting Fade off. He's actually going to run straight into him. Stampede's there. And he's okay. So first Stampede used the game. I do want to quickly mention, while we're close enough to it, uh, both Wisdoms went the, the way of Raiding too. So uh, yeah. Apex was able to snipe dies and, and get their own at the same time. Fly. Did get the shield rune, but he's probably gonna die for it. I stay yeah. Oh. Now mid lane again. Let's go. Disrupt the puck. I haven't seen this one before. Try and get him just as he orbs though. And copy's fine. So I mean this is a lot of attention mid, and it looks like low skills okay down bottom. Like, you know, whenever he's got the ultimate, he can play a little bit more aggressively inside the lane. And they don't really have many rotation possibilities for nouns. Like, the damage is going to be lacking. Puck's only level 6. Like, what's your CM really going to provide down bottom? What's your Sven going to provide? Like, you just want to allow Yuma to farm. So, you're not really going to be stopping low skill. But at least Gunner is having another pretty good game. Well, we have seen games in which... Um, Sven pops ulti and goes through the twin gate. Fade. This could DP nearby. Exo committed, and you see the call. It's just a, a retreat away from the big ultimate that will net them a kill onto Lelis. And maybe now the in objective as well. They're only going to have that half Not duration of the Exo. Puck sleeping in. They have Arena. They got Chemical Rage, though. It should be okay. Uh, okay. Decides not to go for it. I was thinking maybe Sven, because he's losing the top tower, he goes through the twin gate and you use the arena and you have Puck there and then you can uh, combine all of it to kill the alchemist, but top tower. they just lose the tower and that's it. Continue farming. So you got some big stacks getting made from Fly though. A quad at the ancients, maybe a quad five at the hard. Looks like Copy's probably gonna hard farm this hard stack though, considering yep. really needs to pick me up. Hopefully, he gets a decent neutral, and Arcane Ring is not the worst. But the other side has uh, got their own stacks going for them, right? Not as many, but still pretty good for the Alchemist or whoever gets there first. It's only the Alchemist that can farm them on Radiant, maybe Sven if he steals them. A pretty slow game, um, considering DP got the first blood. Uh, they're all kind of chilling. He does have a full Kaya, by the way, completed on on that prophet. So it's gonna be that Sanj and Kaya build. Okay. 
Right. Very farmed is red. Very farmed is everyone at the moment for, for the boys on Apex. But like you said, slow paced game. Sometimes we, we see that often with Marsers, especially go in this like very, very stat heavy build, double bracer, one soul ring, very lane focused and just trying not to die to continue to be able to at least have some presence down bottom. And I mean, literally everyone is farming though. So I, I really wouldn't say there's a side that's probably too happy about this. I mean, we, uh, now we just got to look at the supports and see yep. what they're getting to. And then really the big thing is just kind of the levels for me, at least for Radiant compared to the Dire supports. I just like Al um, not Alchemist. I liked Alchemist the way he played last game, but overall I like Sven more as a hero at the moment. Uh, but he isn't... Even with these stacks, he just evened it up with, with Alchemist, which is good. It is an Alchemist, of course, but uh, they need to do more. And what's he building next? He's uh, just a standard build, nothing crazy on him. Right in the river? Nice. Just a region. Yeah, so the, the next movement probably will come from Radiant, as they do have a they do have that Exo now online again. It's just that where do you go? Probably bot lane, right? Like that's the only tier one, and they could invade the triangle as well. Fly? They want to let him deal with this for free? It's common, but Fly's gonna run the opposite direction. Get out! <laughs> Not a stampede. And an arena. Uh, they may actually be able to get Gunner as well. He's outside, unfortunately. Uh, I'm close. I'm actually surprised Blink didn't go for Gunner. Uh, like, he tunneled Vision on the CM completely. I feel that they could have at least caught the Mars with the lasso. As he was disrupted, right? Like, they had time mm. to get on top of him. But okay, they do get a kill, they get the tower, they can maybe block the ancients, ward up the Radiant's enemy triangle. This is this is bottom line what you came for, so um, still worked out for them. Now you can uh, continue perhaps rotating top, secure the tier 2. Hmm. Do you like this item build from Fade though? Like Blade Mail Eternal Shroud into Blink? Gonna fade, I suppose. Let's see. See if they're gonna be able How to kill it. Coil potentially into the break. And well, with Lulus here, they'll definitely have enough damage to be able to bring him down. Unfortunately, just a little bit too late with the rotations. I mean, if it was closer to a tower, then maybe we could could have seen the supports yep. give him some protection. Uh, at that point, it doesn't really matter what he has. At the moment, he dies anyway. Uh, when it comes to the item build, like when you're playing Centaur, you realize it's usually. In 90% of the games, you don't want to get a blink too early. Like when you're playing Scent and you get to blink too early, you fall off very hard, very fast. You can't farm fast enough. It just doesn't feel good. So I get why he's delaying it a bit. Um, do they have a blink on bat? They don't yet. That's the only issue because they don't have any blinks, no ways to initiate Gunner. He does have one. Serena. Instant lasso, but Gunner's already used his spells. And now with Yuma coming over as well, they're going to get a big turnaround onto Red. He has been an issue for now and so far throughout the first 15 minutes of this game, but with multiple ultimates, they're going to be able to shut him down. Yeah, he had a full Sanj in the couriers that he didn't get, so he was a bit less tanky than he'd like to be at that point. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I feel like we see this very often, uh, which one team just uh, itemizes more aggressively and they're able to play the game faster. Like right now, even though Radiant arguably were stronger with this DP that crushed mid, they couldn't really convert into anything because she has mm, no one uh, no one to play with unless that stampede is used to initiate. Yeah, I, I feel like that's going to be the case for a while, though, with, bottom tower is like, Fade attack. going Blink third item. Because it's fine getting these objectives on the Death Prophet, but what ob objectives do you get afterwards? Like, you can Roche 
but then you're going to have ages where you won't really do anything. So, I mean, Lotus Kills, he's going to go blink now. I thought maybe you might be BKB into blink. But, so at least you will have a way to make plays, which is the big thing. Now you can get a pick off into an objective, continue to control the map, because they've got some pretty good vision down. So let's just... And, and you got Batrider blink now too, as well. So... He, he also did the same thing last game, right? Like his blink came online and just in time for him to join these fights. And... Uh, like you said, with the Bat Rider as well, and that Prophet creating most of the chaos. He's actually going for the puck. The puck. Uh, he just he doesn't join. Well done. Yeah, should be it. Radiant are scanning. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, nicely done by him. The moment he, you see that stampede, I guess you don't join, right? You just don't go. Uh, can they go rush though? I believe so. They did in the last game. They can use exorcism as well if they wanted to. Let's see. I feel like you can even Great. save it for the tier two. Yeah. yeah. I hope they do save it. It looks like they might be able to. So they will lose an objective though. Tier one tower is probably going to go down. And haven't scouted out Roche just yet, but it looks like with. I was going to say maybe Gunner hitting it, they should have a pretty good idea. They're so afraid to even uh, commit on this tier one mid. DP, she's kind of alone here. Let's see. So they're gonna get rush and not even lose tier one. That's big. Yeah, they're they're just outplaying strategically. They're outplaying nouns. I really wonder what red goes for next. Have this Sunjin Kaya now. Like, what's what's the decision gonna be? Uh, your eternal shroud is something you can look at. Armor is still something like really needs to be considered versus Sven. Uh, they they haven't they've showcased already that they do have damage on Dyer. So you know, if he feels like he needs to tank up, there's a lot of routes you can go down here for the Death Prophet. We'll see what the call is going to be. But what do you want to see Raiden do importantly? Like you have this Aegis now again. You didn't need to commit EXO. Do you just wait until Low School has BKB and then maybe you force the issue, or are you happy with just maybe bumping your head into a T2 tower now? I feel like it would be nicer to uh, at least wait for his BKB. It's T farms extremely fast. You're not going to wait long. It's literally a minute of his farm until he completes it. Uh, but you also have this Arcane Rune, and I think that dictates a lot. You have Arcane Rune level 2 Exo. I'd want to use it. And actually, he's buying Hex next. So more control for them. That's what he's op opting to go for. It is. How to put it? It's a bit. It, the only question is, is it justified risk? Like, do you have enough catch for this puck? You don't. So I guess it is justified. The only question is, um, <laughs> not the only, the second question then, I guess, is uh, will they be able to blow her up because of this? Because it gives you no stats. No armor that you called for, not an eternal shroud, no yules or BKB to reset the fights. They need to play around her really damn well. Puppy. Under what diet? They do scout out Yamsen and BNC though. BNC is going to be able to get the jump in. Great reactions. Instant hex. And are they going to try and take the fight? Really? Numbers disadvantage into Dai's territory, but Copy gets assassinated on the background, so you've got no puck, but it's not going to matter in the end. Low skill and fade against the world. Gunner's spell casting has been on point inside this team fight. And Fade, he's not going to be an easy kill, but they'll just wait the blade mail out. And they've got plenty of stuns to be able to lock him into place. Low skills, chemical rage is about to expire, so nothing he can do. He's just going to watch idly brain. by on the side. Maybe he can actually help out. I can't I mean, believe they're, they're, they're not going scared. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're just afraid of this uh, uh, alchemist. He hurt them too much late game. L last game, that is so. By the way. If I'm this DP and I see the way I died, I'm probably switching this item build. I'm not buying. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm not buying hex. I'm going for BKB or whatever beefs me up. Because you, you proved that you can kill the puck. You just did. If you can kill the puck, what's the point of getting this hex? At least yeah, for no, now. I, I, I no, I hundred percent agree. Because any any change is BKB, and I, I think with the hex though, like. You want to blink with it though, then then you get like full usage out of it. That's when you really feel like the money's worth. But then that's an extra 
you know, 2.2k gold, where I'm not all locked for that item to work. You need an extra you combo, and scanning. like you said, there's no stats with it. So I, I really do like this change from red going to the BKB. Yep. Yeah, Q is the top instantly. He was out of position twice now when he died. He moved in way too aggressively uh, in positions where you arguably are just dead. So uh, BKB will help him with that. It's, it's kind of hard to blow him up as there's a, there's a tool to reset the fight anyway. You, you have disruption. As long as Shadow Demon is fine and alive, you should be able to pop that BKB. No matter what happens. It's not an incredibly farmed SD though, so it doesn't... You know, we see the items are a little bit lacking. I mean, it is early on, but the McCabe's going to be up shortly, which is a big one. But really, the Blink late game is what I'm kind of looking at just to help with him being able to, to always get there in time to, to keep someone alive with the banishment. Yeah, you always... You'd, you'd rather have some Blink or some Aetherlands, definitely, but yeah. He's got what he's got at the moment, gotta work with it, right? Like, the range isn't great if uh, DP is caught on the other side of the arena, but besides that, he should be able to get her. Smoke top. Smoke. Dyer's middle tower is Doesn't under attack. find anything. It's actually gonna scout up. I think he got a glimpse of Gunner as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke will pop out for a second. Gunner can just BKB TP up, but fly. Yeah, right. Well, uh, <laughs> that's a life as a CM. It's okay. Aegis has been reclaimed. CM died. If you're dire, you can actually start thinking about smoking even right now. Um, you have a BKB on Sven. He's about to hit level 18. That's probably the time to go. He's got what, like, uh, yeah, they smoke up straight up. Um, after these creeps, he'll get level 18 as well. No, he will not. <laughs> I, I'd just storm hammer that. I'd straight up storm yeah, hammer that yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to get the level. Oh, oh, there he's go. just gonna show. Right, level 18. Is he online now for the alchemist? Not only does that make him more survivable, but importantly, the Death Prophet too, which we were saying, you know, is a hero that really lacks armor. The game is slowing down, but I think, you know, fights are going to start to break out, especially considering Radiant, this is an Alchemist lineup. You are going to have a little fear in the back of your mind at how well this hero is going to scale. Yeah, your armor. Oh, will melt. I got it. This is just to force them back. He's not popping Exo. And your uh, chemical rage is out, so. I feel like they need to start retreating already. Oh, okay, all right, they're Exo. popping Exo. And they're going to get the spear as well, but they want to go in. Nice Hex. Oh, Lelis on point. Now with the Aghanim shot as well. Lasso is going to be able to zone away Yuma. They don't get him to the low ground. But these fights, it looks messy. They're too deep now. Like, Fade's pretty survivable with a Centaur, but how are you going to be able to get him out? And maybe you can just run well, away because you wasted yeah. everything. All right. They have, they have no mana. They need to pop this God Strength, but even if he does, like, how does he initiate? How does he go in? There's no Dream Call. There's no Arena. And low skill, he went back. Yes, sure, but he came back in with Chemical Rage. It's back off cooldown. This is a full side. I don't know, now um, they, they just, they're, one hero is always a bit too late in these fights, in the last game and in this one, it feels like. It, it, it wasn't even clean, you know, from, from Radiant, it didn't, it didn't look clean, with that Prophet just popping uh, Exo while everyone else is falling back. But, uh, let's see, smoke mid, no exorcism this time around. Importantly, SD is, is playing behind red, though. And Sven has full axe. Make... It's flying out. <laughs> he is scouted, though. They see him on the ward. 
And uh, what did Alk get next? He's got a Basher. Yeah, this is basically... Sven hates playing against high attack speed heroes that can purchase a Basher. Like, that's one thing that can deal with him. Like, back in the day, Slark was the hero to go to. And eventually, once Abyssal is completed as well, it's going to be a bit frustrating for the Puck too, so... They are baiting mid-wave at the moment. Copy. Oh. Oh, did he join? Where did he, where did he go? Did he blink? Blink, okay. Blink, blink, yeah. Confuse me for a second. Fire out. <laughs> Pop yeah. lane's getting Pop shoved lane. in. They might actually bait the wave. Exactly. They're waiting if someone deaths. He and they, ha they have very nice words. He did rage, though, on, on low skill. That's the important thing. Why? Oh, well, the... Again, another classic Crystal Maiden death. Ah, uh, Gunner? TP back. Everyone else is not there to follow, though. It feels like he's just uh, delaying at this point, right? Like, you can see they're running. Bot running. Sven is running to creep skip mid, mid wave, but... Radiant are scanning. Aren't you are scanning. okay with this if you're radiant? Like... You can push in through top at any given point, and realistically, all you want is rush now. If nouns want to fight, they have to commit against exorcism around the pit, and it's not going to be easy. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is just the big question for me do you blow up red in God Trend? Because I think you can. But also, I think there is a high possibility you don't if you get saved with, like, Glimmer and Banishment. And then if you overcommit, that means the Alchemist is, like, probably killed one person off by them. Then, you know, you're the Death Prophet is, like, sustained through the damage and he's then healed up as well. And all of a sudden, like, you're all right, what are we doing now? Like, we tried to blow one hero up. We're all stuck in the middle of the fight. So, see if it happens here. Yeah, they're smoking up, uh, but Exo has been popped. And what's nice is, it just got popped, so there's a whole lot of duration left on it. DP also takes the Aegis, interestingly. Okay. They're gonna look for the D-Word copy. We'll show, but he's got a shield rune, so pretty survivable at the moment. It's gonna do with Dyer's Observer, and low skill. Activates a cook auction. Aggressive jump in the middle. Once again, Fly's gonna be the target, but the Glimmer Cape protects her momentarily. Puck I'd love to, to get more, though. Copy was able to go jump out of the right, Flame Break. Very close to catching him. For, oh, nice break, but he doesn't make it to the low ground. They're going to get him as a result of that. And the chain control, it's there. Oh, no, and the tips as well. Okay. And the centaur stun, by the way. It's also, no, not the hero, but the centaur creep helped out. Yuma? Oh, oh no. Whoa, he's just got to fight. Uh, yeah, it's just, there's no escaping. Fight and hope. Maybe the cleave's enough. Maybe they can turn to kill Los Kulu. Doesn't have the ages. Oh, what a punishment! Yam, yeah, son! And copy and pull back. back! Oh, that's disastrous. They're not even going to kill Low Skill. And now Gun is short for a second as well. Oh, this is not good. That is terrible. But you know, at the same time, what this shows me is that nouns, they're capable of taking these fights. Like Sven is dishing out enough of, like, enough of damage if you just have the arena and the dream call in spot. But somehow nouns, they're always uh, separated in, in engagements. Like Puck is somewhere left field. Sven is trying to get in with the Mars, but Fly just dies instantly. I don't know. Someone looks at him and he falls <laughs> over. I don't know. They just feel very disconnected. They, they, they feel like a team that's uh, low on morale or something at the moment. Alchemist definitely could have died if they took the fight on top lane. On yeah, the upside, I... Gunner has a Revenant's brooch, by the way. So. Okay. He hits hard. I, I really like your your point about the damage there from the Sven because that that definitely was a big thing that we did just see with the onto the alchemist. So yeah, and that's going to be the same with the Death Prophet. Like she's still got she's got hex now. So she did go down this route after the BKB. So she will be very squishy. They've given her the cheese as well in the inventory. So all or nothing. Yep. Has some evasion as well with Elven Tunic. 
Fuck needs to be careful. No buyback. He can him. die with this speed back. It's going to be away from the uh, Shadow Demon. But Yuma again doesn't want to pop the God Strength. Gunner. Great arena. Important that they got Yamsun into the arena. But no one's going to be able to jump simultaneously. Got the park. That's going to be a dying back. They need to oh, fight this. Oh no. Disastrous. That is a big, big advantage that Raiden going to be playing with now. Will they 2 0 nouns? Gunner. Instant hex on the jump in. It's all up to Yuma. He'll take his stun to the face. Yuma's going to turn. Assassinates the back line. It's not enough, though. Banishment. That we'll keep so the Shadow Demon alive momentarily. And now Yuma is stuck. BKB is over. And it's all up to the retreat. He'll get back to the fountain. But that is as good as death. No BKB. No God Strength. That'll be another full set of barracks. They'll look for the tier 2 down bottom now. This looks very much like 2-0. Tier 2 down bottom. You're gonna... You can wait for your exo to be back up. Or you can just push until Puck is uh, online. I, I don't even know if they care at this point. Because Sven isn't killing anyone if he can't kill the Shadow Demon. And he cannot kill the Shadow Demon. He needs the Puck to do that for him. That's the problem. Like, you need this Puck Lion to blink, kill off the Shadow Demon, and then perhaps you can take the fights. These disruptions, these Limer Capes are doing way too much. Jemsen is... Like MVPing this game at the moment. Still got another 50 seconds of ages. Actually, give them some respect though. You got Puck respawning. Importantly, Exo on cooldown. Yeah, no, no reason to rush it, right? Just get the Exo. He's gonna have a level 3 Exo as well now. With a couple of creeps killed. I don't know. There is there is there is a playmaker missing on nouns. That's how I feel. When I see a game such as this one, there is there's a clear playmaker calling shots missing. Someone is too afraid, and I, I feel like it's the puck. He's too afraid to play this game and it's only the bet that he truly has to worry about, so... And the weird Kerr missing or nouns. That's how I... Yeah, sometimes it's... You get a little bit of PTSD, like you died a couple times in a game where it's not overly diff... Like, yes, they have some stuns, but... Like, a, a Grandmaster Puck player would, would eat this game alive. His lane was rough, to his defense. Um, Nah, it's just fly. a freebie. You'll take any freebie you can get, especially if they don't have a buyback. Fly does, though, at least. But this is Megas if they don't defend. And again, all eyes on Gunner for the opportunity, but the instant oh, hex. The Where is your speed back now? And they're going to jump the back line as well. Lelis is in trouble. He's got a buyback at least. And this is the one thing that stands in between Radiant and Megas. All the buybacks to potentially hold the base, but Yuma... He can't even go through an alchemist without chemical rage. That's a big ultimate. Gunner with the pushback into the freezing field. They'll cancel the CM Salty and they will stand strong in the face of it all. They have two grand of a net worth lead for them to be brought down on this final push. As this, this will be quite an upset forcing Nouns down into the lower bracket this early on. Yeah, they have a buyback on Sven if they decide to fight one more time, but with this kill on Puck, I feel the game is... Yuma, no god strength to work with. They are trying... Commendable to try and defend yes. in the end like this, definitely, but the game is... Fade even doing the spin a little bit. Dancing. Yeah. Way high fives now, they're saying a lot of high fives down bottom. The G's are dropped. And now they're going to have to make an incredible run to the low bracket. If they want a trip over to Dream League. Unfortunately for them, this new roster. Not work out in this new series. So yeah, it's going to be difficult. I mean, they... What if it? They've got low bracket round two. Seven.